Hi, it's Alan Parekh here. This video will show you how to assemble the button code project. When it's complete, it should look something like this. Here's all the parts that should be in the kits. The only parts we're not going to be using for these steps is the mounting hardware shown in the top left. First step is to locate the three resistors. There should be uh, one that is red, black, brown, that's a 200 ohm. And there should be two orange, orange, brown, which is the 330 ohm. And mount them as shown. Polarity doesn't matter for resistors. After that, we're going to be looking for two diodes, which are on the top. On the left hand side, there's a three legged transistor, a blue capacitor, and a pin header. And those get mounted as shown here. Uh, please note that the diodes and the transistor are polarity sensitive. The next components we're going to be looking for are the two radial capacitors, that's the blue items, the green LED, the chip socket, and the voltage regulator. Now all of these items have proper polarity. So starting on the left, the voltage regulator, the lettering should be facing forward, and all of the leads for the LED and the two capacitors, the long leads, should be facing left in this picture. And you'll note that the chip socket has a little notch in it, that should also be facing left. There's on the silk screen and uh, on the LED, there's a notch on the right hand side in this picture. And both of the capacitors have a black uh, marking on the right hand side, which indicates negative. And here's the last two items to be soldered in place. The large black item is the relay and we have the green terminal block. Now make sure that when you install the terminal block that the wires can still be inserted from the top and mount the relay as shown. Next we're going to be looking for the heat sink, the mounting hardware for the heat sink, the microcontroller, and the jumper. So the heat sink just gets bolted into place with a nut and bolt. Make sure that uh, when you install the microcontroller the little notch is on the left. And for now you can just uh, mount the jumper uh, directly onto the programming pin. It doesn't have to be shorting out, just sitting on one of the pins is fine. And here's a front view of what uh, your final project should look like. For more information, please go to alanparek.com.